Very demure. Very cutesy. Greetings, Lux lovers. Welcome or welcome back. Here we believe in intentional luxury and we're not afraid to invest in pieces that will work for us. So if that resonates with you, then please consider subscribing and stay a while. Well, here we are taking a slight timeline deviation from my Hermes Paris journey and unboxing timeline for me to be able to take this time to share an overview of the latest bag that I unboxed in my Paris day two unboxing where I scored a walk-in leather appointment. It then was making more news that Hermes has recently come out with a new version of the Mini Lindy, and it's called the Mini Lindy 2, and I just so happened to score one in Paris in my absolute favorite color, Vert Cypress, or Vert Cypre, as they say in France. I'll link to the Purse Pop article below where I first heard about the introduction of the Mini Lindy 2. I really had no idea, but basically my understanding is that the strap is shorter and the bag length is about two centimeters smaller than the original. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an original version of the Mini Lindy, but in this video, I'll be giving you an in-depth overview of measurements, weight, etc., so that you can compare it with your own collection if you happen to have the original Mini Lindy at home. So let's begin. So first I'll do a full overview and walkthrough of this bag. I felt like going to the Hermes in Paris was a little like going into the future because it's like you get to see what's coming out of the mothership before those bags start trickling down to the affiliate locations. Now, I have no idea how prevalent these Mini Lindy 2 bags are, but I would definitely recommend that you check your receipt to see if you got a Mini Lindy 2, whether you know it or not. And I'll put a little snippet of my receipt here so you can see what it looks like. And can I just be the first to say that this bag is very demure, very cutesy. So here we are, I'll do measurements later, but I just wanted to show you, if you're not familiar with the Mini Lindy construction, it has these two parallel handles and the strap is non-removable, non-adjustable. And like I said, it's smaller and shorter than the original. And I'll do some mod shots on myself and talk about like my height and my size, but um, they very you know comfortably slide around, which is nice and the other side just looks like this. So I could see maybe one day they'll wanna put a snap or something if they wanna make these removable, but for now they're not. The bag has feet on the bottom. And like I said, this is the Mini Lindy 2 in Vare Cypress and the leather is Clemence with gold hardware. And so what I actually love about this is that there's the two roll handles and you could in theory hold it like this but I think the essay that I worked with said that they don't really do that for the, the minis. I do love the fact that they have this pocket on each side. And honestly, I was never really like a mini Lindy lover, but I totally get it. But also I'm super biased because this is in my absolute favorite color. So it literally had to like be in my favorite color for me to really appreciate it. Um, so I really love these pockets. We can take a look at what fits. And also I wanna talk about the hardware. So we have these beautiful parallel zippers. Again, this is in the regular yellow gold. And at the end you have the little H detail. So love that. And then you have this connection point where these zipper pulls kind of lock into, I don't know what we actually call this, but I'll call it like a turn lock. But what I also wanna show you is that the detail on each side of the turn lock, you can actually see the Clou de Sel Hermes logo. So hopefully you can see that. And it's even on the other side. So I feel like I've never seen a video that talks about that, but talk about detail. So you have the Hermes logo um, engraved in both sides of this turn lock. And also you can see the Hermes Paris stamping. Uh, here as well. So this bag literally takes like a 10 step process to open, which you should know about. It's actually a very fussy bag. So it's like one, you have to turn it to the side so that this comes out. So we'll do that. Then you have to turn it to the other side for this side to come off. So we'll do that. And then you have to straighten it out, lift the flap, open one, open the other side, and then lift. That's like a lot of steps. <laughs> so once I like close it back up to put it away and then I realized all the stuffing was out of it and it was like a process to get it out. 
but it comes with the bag paper on the inside and it does come with the felt which I just keep on the inside of the bag but I have to say this bag is extremely spacious I'm trying to get the, the light in here but this is a pretty awesome spacious bag if you like the mini bag look but just have a ton of stuff with you going on with a tour of what a mini lindy 2 looks like on the inside oh i don't know if you're gonna be able to see i'm gonna do my best so here's the other side of the of that lock it also has a sticker on the inside but it has interior pockets not on the back but on the sides so it's weird there's like a pocket here but then there's another pocket on the exact other side in the interior so there's two pockets on the inside but they're both on each side no pockets on the back or zippers or anything. So no zippers or like back pockets here. So it's a beautiful bag. And if you're in a hurry, you can just kind of throw that lock in the hole and then turn it and then it won't open up. Or if you want to be more casual, you can just zip the zippers down and kind of hold it like this. You don't have to gussy it all up. So I will also do some mod shots later on so that you can see what it looks like. And look at that gold hardware just shining. Like I'm not even doing anything but oh my gosh, I could just look at that forever. So the gold hardware is truly shining on, on this. So now let's do some measurements. I have my handy dandy tape measure. My understanding is that the original Mini Lindy was about 20 centimeters. You see how there is this like little jut out even past the little rolled corner? Like here's a good one. And obviously these are handmade, so they're not perfect, but there's this like rolled edge and then there's this little jut out I'm gonna actually count that jut out, but I guess technically you could count it from the rolled edge. And if I do that with my tape measure, honestly, it's looking like it's 19 centimeters. So we can chalk this up to variation. It's definitely, I'll put my fingers where the zero is. My thumb is at where 20 centimeters is. So you can kind of see, it's definitely less than 20 centimeters. But if I had to be honest, it looks more like 19 centimeters. So we've established that at least mine is more 19 centimeters than 20. And then if we look at the height, uh, this is looking like 13, maybe 13 and a half centimeters. And then in terms of the width, it looks like 10 and a half to 11 centimeters across. I would say closer to 11 centimeters width wise and also why don't we measure the strap for you from one side and obviously you know take all this with a grain of salt because i'm no professional but i'll try to keep it smooth along the strap so that we can just see how long this piece of leather is and i would say that looks like 95 centimeters or about 37 and a half inches. So that was my really like non-scientific measurement. And then if we look at the strap drop, if I hold this in the middle to where that zero is to where the top is here, I would say that's about 52 centimeters. And if I flip that over, that is about 20 and a half inches of strap drop. Maybe those who have Mini Lindy originals can tell us in the comments what their measurements are but I thought that this would help folks really bring to life what size this bag is. I've also brought my scale and we'll put it on and balance the, the strap on top. So we get the total weight. And that is saying 409 grams or 0.902 pounds and 14.4 ounces. So a little under one pound, good to know. It definitely does feel like a very light bag though. And next as part of my review, we're going to do a little bit of what fits inside and we'll open her up. Guys, I still love this bag. I never thought I would be a Lindy girl, but I am like a super fan now. As you can see, very big, big compartment. So I have my Bairn. Combiné wallet. This is in their jade. And again, we can compare those colors. They look nothing alike. Their cypress is much more blue. So that fits in very comfortably in there. Ton of space. We have AirPods, 
lip gloss and stuff is just like rolling around in there okay you can start to see there's like just a ton of more room now here is my bulgari sunglasses and you can see that this big case does not fit however we can open it up here they are and you can put them right inside and then the glasses fit comfortably you could probably get a smaller sunglass case and um, try that in there and then of course here is my phone i think this is a pro like 12 pro not the pro max and that fits very comfortably as well everything is in there and there's even like a ton more space and things just like stack this can probably get very heavy very fast but i feel like i could even like put some tissues and even maybe roll up a small scarf but i did want to take a look at those side pockets because I would want to know like what fits. So here I have like a, a dental card. So let's put it in here. And you can see if you had a credit card or like a Metro card or a subway card, that would definitely fit in the side. And then let's see what it looks like on the inside. Same thing. You can actually see that credit cards will fit on the side. So in a way, you might not even need a wallet if you could just stuff your cards in these four pockets. So that is very useful to know. And you could even stuff cash or tips or even like, I don't know, hair bands in the side. I love those pockets. So I also wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing and here we have my newest bag from Alize. I did an unboxing from one of their bag charms in my recent bag charm video. And when I saw this appear online, I just had to get it. So we're going to do an unboxing together for my new baby. There's more details in my original video where I featured Alize, but they do this beautiful, beautiful wrapping for all of their orders. They give you a custom charm based on your name or an initial that you want. And it is just such a beautiful experience. So I'll go ahead and open it up and I can't wait to try it with my new baby. Beautiful wrapping. Love this like textured wrapping paper. Here we are with our beautiful box. And the little information packet. And what do we have? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is the Rodeo Pagas bag charm with the sparkle gold and green zircon crystals. When I saw this, I knew it had to be mine. There is no bag charm that is more up my street than this one. I am so thrilled. And just so you know, this one was actually sold out. So keep an eye out. I'll link it below. Use my link. I also have a discount code if you'd like a little discount off, but I just couldn't say no to this. Look how cute that is. I'll give you those spin around. Again, it just opens very simply. And so we'll take this off of there. But look at this cutie patootie. Oh my gosh, they are so stunning. Again, I'm just like inside an inside light and this, this little dude is sparkling. It is so cute. And as you know, I am a green lover through and through. Look at the little backside. It is so cute. Here is the underside and it has Alize stamped in. But guys, I just I just love these. So, so let's see how I would use it on this bag. The other good thing to know about Alize is that it does come with a different attachment chain. So here we have an additional chain and we might need it for something like this, but we might not. So let's let's just test it out. I guess you could just put it right on that little lock. But again, I just slipped that on and it was pretty fast and I don't think it's like extremely secure so I don't know if I would do this but that would certainly keep it down look how cute this little emerald crystal is and here's my emerald ring and you can kind of see that goes as well I absolutely love it oh my gosh but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it and see what it looks like with the chain we're gonna wrap the chain around a few times just to shorten it but you know what I feel like that's gonna look really cool this is like total jewelry for your bag. So here I wrapped it around like four times and then we're just gonna put my little horsey on to that shortened length. 
and boom oh my gosh that is so perfect look at my little bag charm for my mini lindy i'm gonna keep this on for the rest because that is so stinking cute this is basically something only green lovers would understand so i'm so happy to have this in my collection so here we have a cross body on me it kind of just hits right at the hip which i really like i feel like a lot of my other bags are longer but right at the hip perfect for me and i'm about five foot one size four us and then here is what the shoulder strap drop looks like on me again i definitely would prefer this as a cross body for me And as you can see, I'm already just kind of wearing it the way I would normally with the little uh, zipper pulls just kind of on the side. Here's my little bag charm sparkling on the side. And this is just such a shiny bag so far. I absolutely love it. Now it does kind of jut out. So I wouldn't be like maneuvering around like tight areas, but I would probably keep it ahead of me or you know, keep it to the side so that I could easily put my hand over it and protect it if I had to like slide through a crowd. But yeah, it is important to know that it does jut out kind of like a little bucket bag. And again, if I wanted to just hold it, now all of my stuff is in it, so it's a lot harder to squeeze once you have stuff in it, but it's possible. But I feel like that kind of wrinkles the top, so I, I would probably never hold it in my hand. My wrist is so small, it does fit through these, but this just looks so weird, but I think it's worth just showing that it is possible if I needed my two hands in the event of an emergency, it is possible. Looks like little bracelets. So overall, my final thoughts on the Mini Lindy is that I am a Mini Lindy believer. It literally took me to get it in my favorite color, but I have to say that after using it and playing with it and styling it, I love it and I never thought I would have wanted one. I, again, I don't know what the original Mini Lindy was like, but the Mini Lindy 2 is right up my alley. It's a stunning bag. It sparkles so much. Like, like this hardware is out of control and the details are stunning while also being practical. And I just love all of these very usable pockets, like pockets everywhere. Even though it's a bit fussy to get into, I do like that you can have it casual, like just kind of the zipper tags hanging out. So it doesn't have to be fussy, but you can make it fussy if you want it to be more secure if you're out in crowds because no robber is gonna get in there without you knowing. Now a question is, would I want another one? Uh, probably not. Like for me, it doesn't get better than this color. So the fact that I have it in this color means that I only want one and I don't think I would want a larger one because then I would have like my Birkin and my Kellys for that. But I do love that I have this in the collection. I also love that I have it in the shorter strap size. So I feel so lucky to have the Mini Lindy too. And I also just cherish the memories of me getting this in Paris for my leather walk-in appointment. And I love this little horsey now that I can have it with me. And the little horsey can dangle on this chain when I'm using it. So I'm already having fun with this bag. So thank you to those who've stayed with me to the end. Let us know in the comments if, if any of you guys scored a Mini Lindy too, or if you have any other questions about the bag. I welcome you to follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more of how I style this little baby in my day to day and other luxury moments. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to go down the rabbit hole that is my Paris playlist, and I'll put that link here. Please like it if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!